Welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. We're going to do something a little different today. I've generated a new world, and we are not going to be creating a mighty Dwarf Fortress. Instead, we're going to be founding a tavern. I've set the population limit to 15, and we're going to set a little pleasant tavern somewhere between the dwarves and the humans, or the dwarves and the elves. We'll take a look at the map here and draw people with our beautiful tavern. However, that's not our real goal either. The tavern is to be a front. We want to set up a business of stealing artifacts. So we're going to set ourselves up a den of thieves. We just have to figure out where we want that to be. I would like a stream so that we can fish a little bit for food for our tavern going to need some plants so we can do a small garden to grow some ale or wine for our tavern. And then we want striking distance to some of the human settlements or some of the elven settlements. So let's take a look. Again, jumping into here, I like to build into a hill if I can. But over here, here's a, here's a stream. Very deep soil sand and clay this looks pretty good it's a uh, wilderness that's not too bad I thought a little further north was calm let's see if we can find what's up here she's a bit sparse let's zoom out not calm okay just wilderness wilderness is fine wilderness is fine what are you human fort good don't want to stop by for some drinks then Along here, the road, we could jump in. They've got a road here. Grab it here, wilderness, vegetation moderate. Some hills, so we can be right off the road. I click embark. Easily cover some water. Be pretty near the road. Now, we don't need this to be very big, so we might be able to help ourselves. by three. Make sure we grab some water. What do we get here? Iron, silver, copper, zinc, lead, fluxstone layer, sand, and very deep soil. What are the cliffs and grades? Well, that's fine. That's about there. Yeah, so we should have a hill we can build into here and access to the water. I have like the water near the middle. Put the water near the middle. It'd be easier for me to reach out for fishing purposes. So let's do that. I do have goblins nearby, but again, our population will be small enough that they shouldn't attack us until we're ready. Elves and humans, plenty of visitors. Let's go here. All right, prepare for the journey carefully. Let's start by gathering of all of this. I'm not growing any underground plants. We need an anvil. We're going to need two battle axes. Fine. I want three picks. Get rid of this meat. We'll be able to find our own fish. Get rid of plump helmets. Get rid of these bags. Get rid of thread. There's cheaper thread. So if I need thread, I'll grab a rope. It's fine. A little pricey. Probably find a cheaper rope. Quivers will keep. Buckets. We don't need, but we'll keep one. Um, splints and crutches we can make or buy. I'll keep one just in case. Absolutely not paying 50 points for those. Let's jump over to animals. I know I want a breeding pair of dogs. Always good to watch out for, and I'll want to take some hunting dogs with me on my raids. Always want a good cat around to help out. And then I'm going to want some eggs for ease of cooking. Turkeys are the optimal choice. Let's grab a couple of those, and I plan on grabbing a couple of 
turkey gobblers. I'll probably slaughter them if I can get them to fertilize the eggs properly. And while we're at it, let's grab a peacock. Each peahen. Go. Again, there's a diversity of eggs. Now over in items, uh, let's get rid of this. Over here, cloth. Silk is just cheaper, so if we need cloth, grab a couple just in case. We can make some bags out of that. Although bags are not bad if you buy leather. Always need some bags. Lots of thread. Pigtail is 12 points, but silk is only 6. Grab that. Other things that are just a pain in the butt to make. Lye. I want to make some soap. All good. Uh, bituminous coal. Can't have too much bituminous coal. So we'll grab 20 of those. Get six. That's, we need one coke to start the reaction. Now let's, let's check out wood here. Got all these caps. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab different kinds of wood to just set up repeating jobs. So let's say to do. Goblin cap. Let's get six goblin cap. We'll make those into wheelbarrows. Let's grab six black cap. Make that into six mine carts, which we'll use for some quantum stockpiles. And let's grab ten tower cap, which we'll use to make beds for our dwarves and the dormitory. So we can set those on repeat with the Material type, and they'll just knock those out. And then, because they're lightweight, let's go down and grab. Do we see? Maybe should I grab willow? There we go, willow. Ten willow logs, just to make some other random wood stuff. There should be wood where we're going, but this will allow my carpenter just to start right away. All right, we got the anvil. Too much coal. I need some iron. Four. So let's go find stone. Let's look for an iron ore. Probably already shot past it. Uh, magnetite, here we go. Grab five of those. Get four bars out of each. So we'll have 20. That allows us to do some initial outfitting of some equipment. Hopefully we can dig out some more as we go. We have 610 points. What else do we need? We got our three picks, battle axes. Let's grab some tetrahedrite. We can make some of our equipment out of copper, especially additional picks or tools that we need. Additional copper out of malachite. All right, that looks pretty good. Animals. Let's step over here again. Oh, no, hang on a second. No, what we want is we want to go to extracts. Extracts. And any of the milks we have, we're going to grab five of. Because we can turn each of these into cheese, keep the barrel, and then have a stack of cheese we can cook with to sell when the traders come. And again, this will give us a lot of our initial barrels. We'll have to make those right away. Alright. Well, we have a lot of access to a lot of different animals here. There's a lot of different kinds of cheese. Each cheese is worth a good number of points in terms of value. And each of these items gives us a barrel. Kangaroo man's milk. I've never seen that. That's cool. And a giant kangaroo. There must be a lot of 
kangaroos here. Warrior of vast cash. Extract. Must be a horrible experiment, and then they, I guess, squeeze the life out of the guy. Then go to garden vegetables. We're going to want something in here that we can eat right away and start getting the seeds from. Strawberries are always a good favorite of mine. Start by eating some strawberries. Hopefully, we'll be able to pick some additional items. And then we all want to go to drinks. We already have some drinks. What they give us? 60 ale. That's fine. Let's jump out to 61. While we're at it, let's grab some beer, rum, wine. That gives us a good number of drinks. What's that? 94 drinks. That should last our few dwarves quite a while before we can pick some stuff and do some more brewing. So that's all good. Gives us 372 points. Let's bring some more wood just in case. Let's bring some more cloth just in case. How much is leather? The cheapest is 5 points. Let's grab some leather. Something simple. That's 5 points. It's also stylish. Everyone likes horse leather. 20 of those. That'll be handy. 207 points left. Let's just grab some more iron ore. left. Should be fine. Now, for our dwarves. What do we need for our dwarves? I'm going to need a couple things out of them. First, let's figure out... Well, everyone should be getting some skills, and everyone should be doing some crafting. We'll set that up accordingly. So we can almost ignore that, except for we want to figure out who our leader is going to be. Creative, ambitious, unswayed by emotions. Poor focus recovers quickly. Good with language. Disdain, self-control, hopeful. High social awareness. Here we go. Good intuition values peace. I think we have found our expedition leader. So our expedition leader is not going to have any critical skills, but they are going to be our negotiator. And judge of intent. They'll do praising and organizing. Let's say record keeping. I also want them to be a mild liar. A little bit intimidating. And a conversationalist. Let's take our extra points just throw them in negotiator. So we can get a slightly better deal. So we now have our trader who will be our expedition leader. We need a cook. Let's see. Here who wants mastering a skill personality values creating a great work of art we're going to go over here I need someone to be my carpenter and mason so mason carpenter good Also make you the wood cutter. No, you're too busy. Wood cutter will both make the expedition leader the woodcutter. Alright, and now we need a cook. Someone who just likes mastering skills. There we go. You need to be a brewer. A planter. And most importantly, a That's where we're going to get our money from for now. Let's say everything else is, doesn't really matter. Planting matters. Skill planting matters. Brewing speed matters. Okay. And finally, we're going to need some sort of weaponsmith. Let's see. Crafting a masterwork. Okay, well, maybe it's you, buddy. So let's go to skills. Weaponsmith. 
armor smith. And here we're looking for leather worker. Leather worker. Alright. There we go. These other folks. Easy. They do mining. And they do ambushing. So they are going to be the ones we send out. And as they gain skills, they'll teach others ambushing. Yes, okay. There we go. Got to set three miners slash ambushers, and we'll just arm them with their own pickaxes. We've got our expedition leader, who's also currently our trader. We've got a carpenter slash mason. We've got a farmer who will help run our tavern, and an armor leather worker who will help arm everybody as well as just run some tasks. We've used up all of our points. We have some food. We'll make a lot more food. We have plenty of alcohol. I got some lye. We have pickaxes for everybody. We've got wood. We've got metal. We've got coal. We've got an anvil. I think we're ready to go. Let's check out our fortress name. Seal bolted. Oh, nope. Nope. Looking for something that might actually entice people to come visit. Earth splashes. Close. Silver wall. Let's do that. That's a great name for a tavern. And then as we gather silver around, we can start lining the walls with silver. I like that idea a lot. Done. And our group name, the Shady Sacks. That's perfect for a Den of Thieves. Awesome. Done, 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 embark. And let's see what we get. Looks like we're already falling on a lake. Perfect. Right, saving. Hopefully it stays paused. Strike the earth. We are paused. So, let's pause here ourselves. When we come back, we will lay out the new tavern.